part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. To do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions and welcome back to another Magic the Gathering gameplay. For this match we have Philip playing Esper Singletons and he's going up against Austin with Mono Red Goblins. Philip started on the play with the Plains and then Austin laid down a mountain and played a Goblin Arsonist. Philip played a Shrine of Loyal Legions on his next turn and then Austin played a Goblin War Driver. He attacked with his Arsonist, taking Philip to 19. Philip added a counter to his Shrine and then played a Leon and Relic Warder but chose not to target anything. This also put another counter on the shrine. Austin then played a Goblin Chieftain and attacked with the team. Philip chose to block the Chieftain and then took another 6 damage from the other two goblins going down to 13. For Philip's next turn he took his shrine up to 3 counters. He then laid down an island and put a sword of feast and famine into play. Austin played a second Goblin Chieftain on his turn along with another Goblin Arsonist. Then before combat Philip used a Vapor Snag to return the Goblin War Driver to Austin's hand and take him to 19. Austin then attacked with the rest of the team for 6, taking Philip down to 7. Philip took his shrine up to 4 counters on his next turn and then laid down an isolated chapel. He then sacrificed the shrine to get himself 4 mirror tokens and then equipped his sword to one of them. For Austin's next turn, he started off by playing a goblin fire slinger and then followed it up by replaying his goblin war driver. He then attacked with the team, so Philip chose to single block everything except for the goblin arsonist which did 3 damage to him, dropping him to 4 life. Philip revealed that he was sitting with three lands in his hand during his next turn and went ahead and scooped it up, giving Austin the win and taking them to game two. So that's it for this gameplay, I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version and the annotations at the end along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.